Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at caught speeding from Logic 1, and this is the Java solution. So, you're driving a little too fast, and a police officer stops you. Write code to compute the result, encoded as an int value, zero no ticket, one small ticket, two big ticket. The speed is 60 or less, the result is zero. The speed is between 61 and 80 inclusive, the result is one. If speed is 81 or more, the result is two. Unless it is your birthday, on that day your speed can be five higher in all cases. So we look at the example here, I see that speed is 60 and his birthday is false and we have zero because we're within the speed limit. We see 65 and false, meaning it's not your birthday and we do get a ticket because we don't have that five kilometer allowance. And if we have 65 and true, um, we don't have a, we don't get a ticket because it is our birthday and we get that five kilometer allowance. I'm assuming several liter, but it could be miles, I suppose. All right. So. You know, I like this problem because it's similar to the ones in the logic problem before. Where we're going to do a number of a couple if statements to deal with all the different situations. And what's really important is thinking about the sequence in which we check things because that's going to simplify our conditional statements. So here's just something from my Python solution. I got to put a Java comment there, and we can think about this mathematically that from zero is less than or equal to speed, which is less than sixty-one, is a no ticket situation. From 61 to 81 is a ticket situation, and if we're greater than or equal to 81, then we get a big ticket. Now, you can do this either way, but what you really want to do is you want to avoid checking that middle range first. Because if you check that middle range, you have to check if it's greater than or equal to 61 and less than 81. But if you start with, say, the, the, the small range or the large range, you can eliminate part of that. And let me show you what I mean by that. For now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to forget about the whole is birthday part. I'm just going to deal with the straight up, you know, no birthday considerations. And so if I start with if speed is less than 61, I'm going to return true. Uh, not true at all. I don't know why I did that. I'm going to return zero. Now, the next if statement is going to be if speed is less than 81. And I'm going to return one. Now, the nice thing about this is because, remember, if we go into this if statement and reach this return, the function's done. So that means this next if statement, we know for a fact that speed is not less than 61. So we don't have to do the condition that, you know, is speed greater than or equal to 61 and speed is less than 81. So this is, you know, if you did this condition first, you'd have to use this, this added component. But again, by thinking about the order you do this, it makes it a lot easier. Now, if speed is, is not less than 61 and if speed is not less than 81, we know for a fact that speed must be greater than 81, and therefore we can just return a 2. We don't have to do a conditional check here. Now, of course, if I hit go, it's going to work sometimes, but not all the time, because we ignored that whole birthday consideration. And this is a great, a great opportunity to kind of show how we can use a modifying variable, um, and we can tack into our conditional statements here. And we can look here and see, you know, in the 65 true case, we... You know, we returned uh, a ticket, but you should have gotten no ticket. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to make an int called speed adjust, and I'm going to set that equal to zero. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to these each of these if statements, and I'm going to add speed adjust. So this does nothing to the actual solution right now, and in fact, if I run it, you know, obviously nothing changes. But what I can do is play with speed adjust based on whether or not it's someone's birthday. So I'm going to say if his birthday, birthday, if that's equivalent to true, well, then we're going to set speed adjust equal to 5, because now we have that 5 kilometer buffer. And so since we've reset this, now when it does this calculation, that gets changed as well. If I hit go, it works. So again, really nice problem. Um, big takeaway here, thinking about the sequence in which you check things. Um, I'm going to just take a second now and tighten this up a little bit. Um, we have an if statement with one condition with it, so it was a one line of code, so I'm just going to get rid of the braces. I'm going to get rid of the braces here, and I'm going to get rid of the braces here. Um, if you have a conditional and loop structure with a single line of code inside the block, you don't need the braces. I always put braces in when I'm working with beginning programmers because it just helps for organization. Also, we're doing this explicit check, is birthday true? Um, because his birthday is a Boolean, I can simply just say, if his birthday, and that will generate a true or false, respectively. And now, of course, if I hit go, Please don't hesitate to reach out, ask any questions, um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.